Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Now, this is gonna be a very short, quick Mars. Can you go play over there, please? Go on, off you go over there. I'm making a ruckus. It, it's sunny and glary. Uh, apologies for the lighting change. I'm trying to wear a hat to stop the glare. I'm wearing a lot of hats lately. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me put up a story about a very special arrival that surprisingly arrived very quickly. It is the Starlink. If you don't know what Starlink is, it's kind of Elon Musk's answer to internet everywhere. So obviously we've got mobile data in Australia and we've got the MBN, which sometimes works. <laughs> so the whole idea behind Starlink is pretty much to have connectivity everywhere on the globe. I don't know if you guys have caught on yet. Uh, as much as I drive an old rust bucket, I love technology. I, I love seeing the advancement and how things work. Social media being a big part of my life, obviously internet comes hand in hand with that. So when I go out camping, yes, it's good to disconnect and unwind and everything like that. However, having that option of, you know, something goes wrong, there's a heap of spots, or even on the Bruce Highway between Townsville and Mackay, Townsville and Cairns, that are just dead zones. There's no internet service, no phone service. If something were to happen, what do you even do in those situations? So we are installing Cellfi in the wagon. A Cellfi works to boost mobile signal You've got to have signal for it to increase that signal. If you don't have signal to begin with, back to square one, can't contact anyone. The whole point of Starlink is that you are connected no matter where. All it needs is a good view of the sky for the satellites. Let me just grab it. So this is it. <laughs> it's a substantial size box. <laughs> Let me put it up here. Okay, so I don't need Starlink for my house. I have fiber to premises. We get one gigabyte speeds out of the router. It's ridiculously fast internet at my house. I don't need this for residential. This is a backup for out and about. And the whole plan of this is to try and see how it performs out in the middle of nowhere. Watched a heap of videos on Starlink. Obviously, majority of them are overseas videos and results. Probably the first person who I actually saw using Starlink in an outdoor camping environment was The Fine Prince. So go and check out his channel. Uh, he's a fellow gamer and outdoor enthusiast. He is completely what I'm about. I love everything he puts out. Incredible video, so go and check him out. But that is where I first saw it and I was like, wow, like the idea of live streaming or gaming or any of that kind of stuff out beside a campfire, it's very weird and a lot of people are gonna not be on board with that. <laughs> I, it's no one's doing it, right? It makes me excited. I'm, I'm intrigued by the whole concept of it. So in this video, I'm gonna unpack it. I'll show you what's inside. This is gonna be hard to film because the sun's going down. You can't really see in here, but we've got the Enerdrive inverter and this is the hardware. The hardware is currently on sale. It's normally like close to a thousand dollars for just the hardware. Uh, and at the moment it's like half price. So it's like $450. And the hardware between the residential one and the RV one, this is the same. There's no difference. It's a router, a power cable, and a cord between the dish and the router. That's it, that's, that's the hardware. And then what changes between the residential and the RV is your plan. So a residential is like a locked in contract you pay every month, there's no varying from that and it is linked to your home address. So if you go outside of that, it doesn't work. <laughs> you have to add something called mobility, I think, to it to be able to move away from your home address and have it still work. That wasn't ideal for myself because we have good internet at home. We don't need internet at home. That's not a drama for us. It is for a lot of people, but not for us. I need it out and about, which means a contract plan doesn't really fit my jam. The RV plan, which is what I'm on, you can cancel it. Just be like, I don't need it for the next six months. Pause it. Okay, you don't pay anything a month. And then when you're planning, we're going away for this month, let's unpause it and you pay for that month. It's 175 a month. It's a bit more expensive for the RV, but I only plan to use it two, three months a year. Yeah, so that's the difference between that residential and the RV. It took me a bit of research to try and find out what the difference was. The other thing that is important to note is that if you are on an RV plan and you are near somebody on a residential plan, like if somebody in this building next to us had a residential Starlink. Mine would get deprioritized. Residential plans take priority. But seeing as I'm gonna be using this out in the middle of nowhere, on the beaches, in the bush, I don't imagine I'm gonna be near anybody on a residential plan. I think in the future that might be a concern, 
when everybody has Starlink. So that's something to consider, but I think, I think we'll be fine. Okay, so I'm gonna run you guys through it. I've got a step. <laughs> Cause I can't see up here. Bloop. We got a base. We got a dish. I'll just put this straight in here. I feel like this is just gonna be really easy. Is this how this works? Done, sorted, dish assembled. Take this big cord and I'm just gonna put this on the ground. And then this is the router. And power lead. That's what you get for $450. <laughs> right, should I put the dish on the roof first? That's gonna be hard. I'm gonna do this and then it's gonna ask me to like get it down or something. Okay, dish is going on the roof. I think the roof is gonna be the best spot. Or should I just run it out there? I might just run it out here. Let's not put it on the roof. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Okay, we we just <laughs> it's just chilling. All right, let's run some. This is a nice cable. Run this over here. Right, there's a lot of buildings around. I feel like we might have an issue with the signal. That'll do. <laughs> Getting substantially sunnier. Should I read the instructions first? Be a male and send it. Do I have to download an app? I feel like I'd have to download an app. These have got pretty good uh, like seals on them, which is good. Like for dust and dirt and whatnot. Do you like my dish? Yeah, it's pretty long. Put it out in the paddock. <laughs> okay, we're downloading the Starlink app on my mobile data. Okay, so I've downloaded the app. Sorry for my dodgy phone. I do have a new one. Okay, so we're going to start the setup, find a location. I have a location. Plug in your Starlink. Okay, we're, we're going to go turn on the router and whatnot. Okay. The light on the bottom of the thing will illuminate. Yep, there's a light. Your Starlink will tilt automatically. Okay, I'm concerned that it's not tilting. So my little Starlink out there is... Oh, it's tilting! Oh my god. Look at it go. Oh, look at it go! It says to find the network. What would it be called? Okay, I'm not, I'm not finding it. So that's concerning. Look at it! It's called Stinky! I was like, nah, that won't be it. That'll be like one of these businesses around here. Someone's phone. Gosh, why didn't I see that? It's like a dad joke. Okay, so we'll connect to that one. Sign in. How do I know what my stuff is? Oh, I've got to create. Okay. Oh man, I'm like, this is the most basic. This is so basic. I'm still stuffing it up so badly. Oh, the sun. Okay, so I've just got to make up a name. Let's stick with Stinky. That's fine. Uh, password, done, we're in, maybe, done, wrong one, visibility, I'm ready, point it up, scan the entire sky, this is estimating our obstruction, so I'm going to leave that for a bit, okay, so we just plugged directly into my EnerDrive system at the moment, and this is our Sci Marine screen with all the details, so, my fridge is running, like the compressor's on at the moment, if you're following my TikTok. You would know all about my fridge dramas. However, I'm hoping my fridge cycles off so we can see it a bit more accurately. But that's, uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, it's, it's only using four amps. Okay, we got a final result. So it's facing towards a building, but it still says this is a decent spot for your Starlink. Okay, speed. Let's do a speed test. Not bad, not bad. Run advanced speed test. So this is checking obviously the internet to the router, but then also to my phone as well. So the wi like the Wi-Fi speeds as well, 43. This is good download speeds though. That is really good. 88 download, 90 upload. Surely that's not right, surely. This is just uh, another one. That is really good. Okay, so the fridge is off. We can see what the Starlink is draining off my battery. 
Uh, so about four, five amps. I'd say five amps to be safe. Actually, I'm drawing about 0.5 from my lights. So let me flick those off. So 4.5 amps, I think is fair and reasonable, but I'm pretty impressed. I'm very happy. This is very cool. Very cool. I'm very excited to try and go somewhere where there's not a lot of service and see how it goes, see how it performs. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. If you have any advice, if you've got a Starlink, what are you guys doing? Like, should I try and run this off 12 volt instead of 240? I've seen that's an option as well. I might get a, uh, a LAN connector so I can plug a, uh, a LAN cable in directly into the router. There's an adapter you can buy for that. I'll definitely test this out camping. Might be a bit of an issue with trees and obstructions and things like that, but I'm pretty excited to see how it goes. And let's do some live streaming out in the bush. Let's live stream some four wheel driving. Welcome to the future. Make sure you jump over to my landing page. It's dennysimpson.info. It has links to absolutely everything. All my social medias, my merch. Uh, we've got links to the Discord. Jump in, share your own photos with me. Pretty much everything that I've ever done ever, there's a link on that landing page. So go and check it out. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Say goodbye. Say goodbye, my people. <laughs> Okay, bye. I found that photo in the sofa And it's from way back in the